MTC. 3 no point 20. Renewable energy offers the opportunity to contribute to a number of sustainability goals. These include, climate change mitigation, improved health and environmental outcomes, and social and economic development. However, renewable energy should not be seen as a magic bullet, for all energy sources have some environmental impact. It would be wrong to suggest that renewable energy offers a perfect public policy solution to the challenges of sustainability and climate change. However, renewable energy, used in a judicious and efficient way and in the context of a clear recognition of the ecological limits of the planet, is the best available policy option we have. Simply using renewable energy to go on as we have been doing, pursuing traditional notions of economic growth and consumerism, is not the approach we need. Renewable energy should be a central element of a new paradigm. It should not be used to breathe life into an old and discredited one. MTC Good job. Let's start. MTC 3 no point 21 When I was younger, I was the head of the Taekwondo club at the college where I studied. I always encouraged other students to join the club. There was a student who wanted to join very badly, but she didn't have enough money to buy a Taekwondo uniform. I knew if I gave her money to buy the uniform, for the rest of the month I'd need to skip one meal every day, but I gave her the money anyway. What happened next? She came to practice one time, then never showed up again. How would you feel? Disappointed. 46. Disappointed. Angry. 47. Angry. Or would you feel betrayed because of your sacrifice? I didn't feel betrayed, disappointed, or angry because I'd helped her just for the sake of helping her, period. I am proud that I was able to buy her uniform even though my budget was so tight. I still heard the beauty of the sound from one hand clapping. Dot. MTC. Good job. Let's start. MTC. 3 no point 22. Critics of globalization see it as having led to a homogenization of cultures, with loss of cultural identity in some countries. This isn't primarily an economic argument, but it's worth considering. Globalization has undoubtedly caused some homogenization of world cultures, just as the proliferation of television across the United States homogenized our country's regional cultures in many ways. Some aspects of Western culture, and specifically some aspects of U.S. culture, have taken root in less developed countries, but aspects of virtually every other national culture in the world have also worked their way into American life. The fear that local cultures will dissipate or disappear is not unfounded, but it has to be balanced against the benefits that societies gain from the cultural cross-pollination that has accompanied globalization. MTC Good job. Let's start. MTC 3 no point 23 The idea behind the scientific attitude is simple to formulate but difficult to measure. It nonetheless plays a crucial role both in explaining how science operates and in justifying the uniqueness of science as a way of knowing. Science is successful precisely because it embraces an honest and critical attitude toward evidence, and has created a set of practices like peer review, publication, and reproducibility to institutionalize this attitude. Of course, science is not always successful. One can have the scientific attitude and still offer a flawed theory. But the power of caring about empirical evidence is that we, and others, may critique our theory and offer a better one. When we are trying to learn about the empirical world, evidence must overrule other considerations. The evidence may not always be definitive, but it cannot be ignored, for the check that it gives us against reality is the best means of discovering, or at least working toward, the truth about the world. MTC Good job. Let's start. MTC 3 no point 24 As communities become more diverse, a basic understanding of the cultures and their values is critical in caring for families with obesity issues. 
it is important to understand the cultural perception of weight to address the health risks associated with being overweight or obese. If the family does not believe that their child is overweight, they are less likely to understand the need for lifestyle changes, resulting in a negative impact on the child's overall health. There is a strong need to have culturally and linguistically competent nurses, even being from the same culture or community, to help facilitate health promotion communication. These nurses are better suited to help families with lifestyle changes to promote weight loss, and can present information on nutrition and physical activity in a culturally sensitive manner. Nurses within these communities can lead by example, such as by preparing ethnic foods in healthier ways or by promoting physical activity through modeling. Culturally sensitive nurses can help families of other cultures understand health-related consequences and implement healthy lifestyles. MTC Good job! Let's start! MTC 3 no point 29. An important parallel to the development of financial contracts was the mathematical capability of analyzing them. Babylonian mathematics was surprisingly sophisticated. It was based initially on a sexagesimal, base 60, system that made ratios and multiples easy to calculate and typically used linear interpolations to approximate such nonlinear phenomena as the motions of the planets and compound interest. 60, 60. Among the many mathematical texts that survive from the Old Babylonian period, 1800-1600 BC, are study texts working out the solution to the accrual of interest. 1800-1600 For example, a tablet in the Berlin Museum analyzed by the historian of science Otto Neugebauer asks how long it would take for a unit of silver to grow to 64 times its value if it doubled every five years by any measure a long-term investment. Otto Nugibauer Berlin 1564. This corresponded to a 20% annual interest rate that only compounds every five years. 520. MTC. Good job. Let's start. MTC. 3 no point 30. According to the restorative theory, sleep allows the body, including the brain, to rest and repair itself. Various kinds of evidence support this theory. After people engage in vigorous physical activity, such as running a marathon, they generally sleep longer than usual. Growth hormone, released primarily during deep sleep, facilitates the repair of damaged tissue. Sleep apparently enables the brain to replenish energy stores and also strengthens the immune system. More recently, Researchers have demonstrated that sleep may help the brain clear out metabolic byproducts of neural activity, just as a janitor takes out the trash. Neural activity creates byproducts that can be toxic if they build up. These byproducts are removed in the interstitial space, a small fluid filled space between the cells of the brain. During sleep, a 60% increase in this space permits efficient removal of the debris that has accumulated while the person is awake. 60% MTC Good job! Let's start! MTC 3 no dot 31 Digital information plays a part in the increasing uncertainty of knowledge. First, the infinitude of information now accessible through the Internet dwarfs any attempt to master a subject it is simply no longer possible to know what is to be known in any area. The response is to focus on ever narrower or more esoteric disciplines or interests, or to admit that all that can be done is to sample the field. Second, the stature of knowledge is challenged, because the quality of what can be accessed is often unknown. In the printed book, the signs of quality publisher, author affiliation, and so on are usually clearly marked. But the quality of information on the Internet is not always so obvious sometimes deliberately veiled, sometimes simplistic but loud. Even the encyclopedic is not guaranteed. Wikipedia bills itself as the free encyclopedia that anyone can edit. Wikipedia Despite the theory that correct material will usually overcome incorrect, there is nevertheless a caveat that knowledge is always relative. MTC Good job! Let's start! MTC 
3.32. No. Acts of remembering extend beyond the acknowledgement of collective sites of memory, historical documents, and oral traditions. They engage motives for remembering and question on whose behalf one remembers. Precisely because acts of remembering are relational, they are implicated in how people understand the past and make claims about their versions of the past. Thus memory is an inescapably intersubjective act, as W.J.T. Mitchell insightfully suggests, memory is an intersubjective phenomenon, a practice not only of recollection of a past by a subject, but of recollection for another subject. W.J.T. Mitchell, dot. Memory is a means of passing on, of sharing a social past that may have been obscured, thereby activating its potential for reshaping a future of and for other subjects. In sum, acts of personal remembering are fundamentally social and collective. MTC Good job! Let's start! MTC 3.33 no. Interactions between genes and environment emerge even when genetic effects are very strong. For example, myopia, nearsightedness, is highly heritable, and nearsighted parents are likely to have nearsighted children. Yet studies of hunter-gatherer eyesight show that there are almost no nearsighted hunter-gatherers. There are various aspects of modern life that might cause myopia perhaps it's all the close work we do, perhaps it's reading, perhaps it's working in low light but whatever the cause, the genes that lead to myopia are actually genes that make people sensitive to environmental factors that cause myopia. People who have myopia genes and live in modern environments usually develop nearsightedness. People who have myopia genes but live as hunter-gatherers almost never do. So even effects that are largely genetic can at the same time be largely environmental. MTC Good job! Let's start! MTC 3.34 no. Industry's use of science to support its interests in resource conflicts is seen in efforts to develop its own expertise as a means of contesting government policies. Industrial fisheries, for example, often no longer rely on government stock assessments, but hire their own scientists to conduct assessments, in part to ensure their interests are taken into consideration in management decisions. Industry-funded contested stock assessment is expected to become more common as individual transferable quotas become more widely used. In such situations experts may simply seek whatever information will enable them to act as advocates for their employer. Fishing interests have been described as having instructed their scientific consultants to just find some holes in the government assessment, this will provide us with the opening we need with the politicians. Science becomes, in effect, an instrument used to increase uncertainty concerning resource stocks, thereby reducing pressure for controls on their exploitation. MTC. Good job. Let's start. MTC. 3.35. No. Successful dieters must learn to correctly identify the body's needs and the satisfaction of these needs. The boundary between hunger and satiation is referred to as the diet boundary. This distinction, the diet boundary, is complicated by the fact that people frequently eat for other reasons than the body's need for nutrients. For example, people may eat to escape boredom, to cope with stress, or as a means of social interaction. Hence, dieters face a dilemma of maintaining an adequate diet boundary as they are immersed in a social world, surrounded by an array of circumstances and food choices. In the midst of these situations, dieters must determine when to eat, how much to eat, and what types of food are appropriate. MTC Good job! Let's start. MTC 3.36 no. The sweet part of the old book smell comes from the molecule lignin, which is present in all wood-based paper. Books printed after about 1850 use paper made from soft or hard woods. 1850 Prior to this, most books were made from cotton or linen. The switch was made simply to save money. Trees are much less expensive to harvest in great quantities than cotton. Being wood-based, most modern paper is composed primarily of cellulose and also significantly of lignin molecules. 
A molecule of lignin has a complex structure, with a molecular weight in excess of 10,000 g slash mole. Mole, 1. By comparison, most organic molecules weigh only a few 100 g slash mole. Mole. Portions of the molecule react to environmental stressors, resulting in lignin degrading as the years pass due to the effects of ultraviolet light, humidity, oxygen, and even acids in the paper. By degrade, I mean that chemical bonds break, resulting in smaller compounds splitting away from the larger lignin molecule. These smaller pieces are released as a gas having the odor we associate with old books. MTC Good job! Let's start! MTC 3 no.37 Why don't flies drop off ceilings? How do flies hold on, even when they are upside down? People just assumed that flies' feet had suckers on them, a bit like those rubber suckers used to stick hooks on doors. John Blackwell wasn't convinced by this explanation. John Blackwell He knew that suckers won't work if there is no air because without air there's no air pressure to press them in place. This would mean that flies should not be able to keep their grip inside a bottle if there was no air in it. He trapped a fly in a bottle and pumped out the air. The fly didn't fall off the bottle sides and continued to walk about as normal. What this shows is that a fly's feet can't be working like suckers. So, how do they walk on ceilings? Blackwell examined a fly's foot with a microscope and saw that it had a sticky liquid on it. Blackwall he concluded that flies do not drop off ceilings because this sticky liquid holds them in place. MTC Good job! Let's start! MTC 3 no.38 A rare collection of factors is necessary to preserve the body of an animal in fossil form. In even the best environments for fossil formation, such as a river floodplain, most animal remains are destroyed quickly by natural decay scattered, trampled, and not while being eroded by wind, water, and sun. The combination of physical and chemical erosion is unrelenting before long, no trace of the animal is left to join the geological record. The process of destruction may be temporarily halted, however, if a substantial flood breaks the river banks and sweeps over the plain, depositing a layer of sediment over any bones and remains thereby protecting them from the surface elements. The completeness of the fossil record in this environment is thus largely determined by the frequency of flooding, which can occur at intervals ranging from tens to thousands of years. The resulting fossils form a series of snapshots in time rather than an ideal continuum. In less ideal environments where there is little chance of sedimentary deposition, the record becomes even more scant. MTC Good job! Let's start. MTC 3.39 In 1975, Professor Robert Ader made a discovery that many consider central to establishing the link between mind and body for the immune system. 1975 Robert Ader He was investigating conditioned response. He was testing to see how long a conditioned response could last in laboratory rats by using a combination of saccharin-laced water and the nausea-inducing drug cytoxin. Cytosan He trained the rats to associate the sweet solution with a bad bellyache, which was caused by the cytoxin. Cytoxin After conditioning the rats, he gave them saccharin water without the cytoxin and watched to see how long it would take for them to forget the connection between the two. Cytosan. Unexpectedly, in the second month, the rats started to die off from disease. Puzzled by this development, Ader researched the properties of the nausea-inducing cytoxin and learned that one of its side effects was an immune suppressant. Ader Cytosan. The rats had been conditioned to associate the sweet water with not only nausea, but with a shutdown of their immune systems. The conclusion was clear. Their minds were controlling their immune systems. MTC Good job! Let's start! MTC 3 no.40 In the Oxford Dictionary of the English Language, the 50 most frequently used words have 1,278 separate and distinct definitions. 
501,278. That's an average of 25 meanings per word. 25. Take the word run. Run. What a variety of meanings it has. Beth is moving rapidly watch her run. Beth. Dot. In the coming election, Carmen will run for mayor. Carmen. Dot. Both believe stocks will do better than bonds in the long run. Dot. Michelle has a run in her stocking. Michella. Dot. The Yankees just scored another run. Yankees one dot. Starting next month, Juan will run the accounting department. Juan dot. And so forth with 18 additional meanings of the word run in our dictionary. Run 18. It's no wonder that people don't always agree on the meaning of what's been said. Although listeners often select the appropriate meaning of the words they hear, this characteristic of language can result in misunderstandings. MTC Good job. Let's start. MTC. 3 no point 41 42. Suppose that you and another candidate are interviewing for a job at a company. If this other candidate makes a mistake that you can easily correct for him, do you help him out? Your willingness to do so will probably be affected by whether you are both interviewing for the same job. If you are, and if there is only one position, then any help you give to him will directly harm you because it increases the likelihood that he will get the job instead of you. All of your competition is against this one person, and this local competition undermines your incentives to cooperate with each other. If you are interviewing for different jobs, then you are not in competition, and you could both benefit from helping each other to compete against your respective competitors. In this case, you have no local competition, because you are both competing against separate pools. How about an intermediate situation? If you are both competing for a position, but there are many positions, then you could still benefit from helping each other because this puts you both in a better position to compete with the larger pool of candidates. You would still be partly in competition with each other, and this would somewhat suppress your incentives to cooperate, but most of the competition is with others. MTC Good job. Let's start. MTC. 3 no point 43 45. Once again the Yankees lost the World Series to the Giants, who swept them in four with one tie. Yankees Giants, Giants 4-1. It had been a bad season for Babe Ruth. Babe Ruth. During the 1922 season, he batted. 315 with 35 home runs. 1922353152 Two suspensions and an illness limited him to 110 games. 110 New York buzzed with gossip about babes eating and drinking too much, partying, and staying out all night. New York babe. The babe's earlier remarks about the fans were true. Babe. They didn't care about his private life as long as he performed well but now they felt his bad habits hurt the team. That winter Babe attended a dinner in New York where the city's future mayor, James J. Walker, addressed the audience. Babe New York James J. Walker He openly accused Babe of letting down the dirty-faced kids who idolized him. Babe Are you going to keep on letting those kids down? He asked. Stung by Walker's words, Babe stood up and apologized. Walker Babe I know as well as anybody else just what mistakes I made last season, he told the audience. Dot. There's no use in me trying to get away from them. But let me tell you something. I want the New York sports writers and fans to know that I've had my last drink until October. I mean it. Tomorrow I'm going off to my farm. I'm going to work my head off. New York 1010. Dot. In 1923, the Yankees started the season in their new home, Yankee Stadium. 1923 Yankees Yankee Stadium. True to his word, Babe reported to spring training in good condition, his weight down to 215 pounds. Babe 215. 
The Yankees opened on April 18 before 74,000 fans who packed the new park and were rewarded with a 4-1 win over the Red Sox. Yankees 4-1874, Red Sox 4-1. Babe marked the occasion with a three-run homer that sailed over the right field wall, the first of 41 he blasted that year. Babe 3, 4-1. It was also the first home run hit in Yankee Stadium, which became known as the house that Babe Ruth built. Yankee Stadium, Babe Ruth. MTC. Good job.